Hello, welcome back to Serendipity's Kitchen. Today we are going to be focusing on Thanksgiving, my very favorite holiday of all. I love the idea of the founding fathers and the pilgrims and how they came here and started this country. Their, the Thanksgiving dinner that they prepared and Thanksgiving to God, I love that. Today we're gonna to show you a Thanksgiving tablescape that I have put together. It's very simple and you just need a few things and I think you can make your table look really festive, which you probably already do, but I wanna show you what I'm planning on doing for mine. And then we are going to finish up the show here with a pecan pie square recipe. And I'll show you how to make it, it is so delectable. If you like pecan pie, you will love this recipe. It is, I can't even stop eating it one piece. Like it needs to get out of the house because I'm eating all of it, it's way too much. Let's get started. I have a fall colored tablecloth that I like to use. But sometimes I will just place my dishes directly onto the table because I like the wood look as well. Goblets similar to these can be purchased at the dollar store for just about a dollar a piece. These name cards were used with my silhouette cutting machine. As you can see, there's a little wrinkle there on the left that should have been smoothed out. Now it's time to make our pecan pie bars. To make the pecan pie squares, it's going to be a two-step process. First we make the crust, and then we make the filling to pour over the crust. The first layer of the pecan pie bars, and we're going to take a nine by 13 pan and give it a little bit of cooking spray. Then we take and line it with parchment paper, set it aside. The ingredients you will need for your shortbread crust are one and three fourths cups of flour, 3 fourths cups of butter, 1 half cup of sugar, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Now into your mixing bowl you want to pour your flour, your salt, and your sugar. Mix it thoroughly. Now take your butter and cut it into fours and then cut it into smaller pieces again. Now add it to your flour mixture and then take your pastry blender and mash it until you have butter about the size of a pea. Take your prepared pan and pour the shortbread crust into it. Then you're going to pat it down evenly in the dish. Now to make the filling, you're going to need a third cup of all-purpose flour, one half cup of brown sugar packed, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of corn syrup, four large eggs, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and two cups of pecans. Take your brown sugar, flour, and salt and combine thoroughly. Next, you will add in your four eggs, your corn syrup, and 
and your vanilla. Whisk everything together until well combined. Once everything is well combined, add in your chopped nuts and mix in just until it's all stirred in. Now your shortbread crust is probably finished if baking in the oven, so take it out and let it cool on the counter and let your filling set on the counter and it will slightly thicken. When it's all cooled down, you can pour your mixture on top of your shortbread crust. Spread it evenly and then it's time for it to go into the oven. Place it in the oven and let it bake for 40 to 50 minutes or until the filling is set. Once your bars have cooled completely, you can now cut them. If you're enjoying this video, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss new episodes which are posted weekly. This is a great substitute for pecan pie and is nice because it can be held in your hand and oh, it's so delicious. I hope you give it a try. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Thanks. See you next time.